NoteCaddy's free version runs entirely in the background and includes a limited number of NoteCaddy notes, scatter graphs, and badges. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the free version of NoteCaddy. Inside of Folder Manager, click Apps, then Enable NoteCaddy if it's not already enabled. Once NoteCaddy is enabled, NoteCaddy will start creating NoteCaddy notes for all players in your database. The time it takes to create NoteCaddy notes depends entirely on your computer's performance and how large your database is. If you don't see any NoteCaddy notes right away, don't worry. Just leave HM3 running on your computer for a few minutes. In the replayer or on your live poker site tables, click the HUD icon. Then select a new HUD. The HUD we want to use is HM3 NoteCaddy Basic. Let's go ahead and lock this HUD in by clicking the HUD icon again. Then select Set Profile as Default for this table type. This is the main NoteCaddy note icon. Click it once to bring up all NoteCaddy notes along with Caddy Scatter. These are badges. This player has two badges. One badge notes that they raised more than 30% of their stack then folded to a re-raise. The other badge indicates fit or fold post flop, which means they'll continue if they hit the flop and fold if they miss the flop. There are two other ways to view NoteCaddy notes. Click the player's main note icon and the NoteCaddy notes are broken down by street as noted here with preflop and flop. The last way to view NoteCaddy notes is through the main Holden Manager tab pop-up system. Click the player's name in the HUD. NoteCaddy notes are listed at the bottom for each pop-up tab. Click the Note Caddy tab to view all Note Caddy notes, and the Caddy Scatter tab is a very powerful way to get bet sizing tells. This player's Caddy Scatter indicates they usually overbet the pot. This dotted line is a pot size bet. We could also see they usually have a strong hand when betting or raising. Remember, this player has the Fit or Fold badge too, so we kind of already knew they only continue when they have a strong hand, and when they re raise, they are ultra strong. Hover your mouse over any dot in Caddy Scatter and a quick hand history will appear. Click a dot and the hands will open in the HM3 replayer for review. Anytime you see these little play buttons next to a note Caddy note, you can also hover your mouse to view the quick hand history or click to replay the hands in the replayer. Some notes have whole card heat maps. This player open limps with strong hands. If we hover over the mini whole card heat map, we can see the exact hands they are open limping with. Gain an even bigger edge at the tables using NoteCaddy. The NoteCaddy notes and badges discussed in this video can also be added to your own custom HUDs in the HUD editor. Purchase a NoteCaddy subscription and you'll have access to even more pre-configured NoteCaddy HUDs along with the powerful NoteCaddy graphical user interface where you can create custom NoteCaddy notes for any situation you can think of. There are some limitations of NoteCaddy features for PokerStars players. See the NoteCaddy facts on our website for details on how NoteCaddy fully complies with the PokerStars terms of service. Thanks for watching and we'll see you at the tables.